One of the biggest questions we get at the Milky Way is questions about angles. Knowing how to have the right angle, how you know you have the right angle, and what to look for to avoid getting the wrong angles. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about all things angles when it relates to newborn photography on the beanbag. Hello and welcome. If we have not met, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, and I inspire, empower, and educate photographers just like you to create the work, art, and lives of their dreams. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about newborn angles. Now, this is something that I run into a lot with my students, a lot of questions about angles and knowing when you've got them and when you don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take you through a video of me shooting. You can see what I'm actually seeing on my camera and I'm going to walk you through what I'm looking for for each angle. So for this first angle, really what I'm looking for is making sure that baby's eyes are on the same focal plane. And what that means is the same distance away from the camera. What I'm doing is I'm stepping back now. I've got, it's still tilted. I'm tilting my camera on all sorts of different angles, just trying to make sure that I keep those eyes on the same focal plane. I zoom in, I get a few shots here too, just making sure that I have both of those eyes in focus. Now I generally t go to the top of the head and I grab some angles from here too. To get even lower, what I'll do is I will lower down onto one knee, just dropping my body and tilting my camera. I'm gonna show you as I come around, this would still be a great angle too. Now what happens though, is that when we head too far in the opposite direction, we start heading up baby and we're shooting up the nose. This is not the angle that you want. Typically, if you're shooting this angle, you're also shooting up the booty, and that is not an angle you want to. You want to make sure that you're working from the head down, making sure that you're not shooting up the nose. So how I've achieved the different angles is what I'm doing with my camera when I'm shooting is I'm actually sh I'm tilting it. I'm, I'm looking, I've got my focal point where it needs to be, uh, and typically I have that on baby's lash line. And what I'm doing is I'm actually tilting my camera down to the side, over. I'm not just keeping it straight on. I'm getting down, I'm lowering down, I'm tilting it and just and just tilting, using yourself like a tripod and tilting and working your camera that way. And I've shown you the incorrect angle, which would be up, shooting up baby's nose and kind of up baby's bum area. That's kind of the angle that you just want to avoid. What we're always looking for is those eyes on the same focal plane. And so I'm looking for them on the same focal plane and I'm working my camera with the center the center um, focus point and trying to get those angles. So hope that helps. So what I would love for you to do is get out your bean bag, set up your stand, grab your camera, and I want you to work on getting all the different angles you can by moving your camera around, by tilting it, by moving it, and just kind of like, almost like a, like a steering wheel-ish kind of, just, sort, just instead of just having it straight on right in front of you, just like this, see what you can do by just changing how you tilt it and see what kind of images you, you can get. The only way you're gonna learn, my friend, is if you get out your camera and you practice. So your homework for this episode is to grab a doll, grab your beanbag stand, and make sure you grab your cam camera and start practicing those angles. So thank you so much for watching today. I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so you don't miss a single trick, tip, or tutorial. And if you have not already downloaded our free posing guide, make sure you do. It's in the description below. If you have any questions about this episode, please post in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback on any different topics you might like to see when it comes to newborn photography. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. And if you have not already... And if you have not already... And if you have not already... Aureli...